dispense and they they fill you know medications and they're in charge of ensuring that those medications are are safely administered and we're following up for adverse reactions and drug drug interactions gene drug interactions now even right. with pharmacogenomic testing so advancement of the profession to me enables us to expand the role of the pharmacist. And we're seeing this now more as COVID was kind of a catalyst for this opportunity. Pharmacists are not only able to provide COVID screenings, you know, do the COVID testing, but we're also able to provide um, in some states because of the public health emergency status, right. provide Paxlovid um, prescriptions. And so we're, we're actually seeing the opportunities for pharmacists in many states include prescriptive authority for things like birth control or access to over the counter. You know, now they're talking about putting statins over the counter and, and you know, different classes of medications that still need to be used with discretion and, and with yeah. respect. And so my, my message for pharmacists is really to see themselves play a bigger role, not only in managing chronic medications use, but also in preventative medicine, because that's, that's one thing that I see in as a, as a community pharmacist that will have patients come out of a health system and maybe they were put on protonics as a, as a prophylactic measure, they get discharged and they get left on a proton pump inhibitor and it continues that cycle of staying on medications for a longer duration of therapy than what was in, originally intended for that medication use. So I actually see and talk to more pharmacists that are saying, let's get our patients off of medicine exactly. you know, versus putting them on more.